M0FXB, welcome to my channel, ICOM705, new firmware, version 1.32, date 12th, no, 22nd of the 12th, so yesterday, uh, 2022, major changes from 1.31, added the DV repeater monitor function, you can connect to a D plus compatible repeater. When monitoring the destination repeater selected in TO, it is necessary to read the connection IP address list first. You can download the connection IP address list sample file here. Improved the terminal AP call sign setting of the DV gateway screen can be registered. Call signs where the seventh character is not blank. Note. You cannot revert, blah, 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 blah. And there's the instructions there to do it. Now watch the rest of the video of when I installed uh, uh, 1.31, I think it was. And I'll just quickly click that list, IP address list sample file. I'm curious to know what that looks like. Repeater download list, two CSV files, a repeater list and a GPS memory data file for the 705, a CSV file, a connection IP address list. This is interesting. Is this all to do with terminal mode? Okay, CSV manual download page. I'm just going to click download. I want to have a quick look and see what this is. And then just fast forward if this is a bit boring for you. Get that open. I want to see the... Okay, USA, ICF file. Let me just double click this. Something's happening. So it's IP addresses. Sorry about this. For different repeaters. Let's go right down low. There's some American ones there. So that's interesting. So are they now, is it to help us? Have an IP address for for our for a terminal mode when you you don't you don't need basically an antenna you're just using IP address to link. I got a feeling it is, so I think that's quite good. Cool, working towards um you know like with Yesu you have the wise XPDN sort of system, so it's a, it's an advancement I think in that way. Just click one of these USA repeaters. You know, look, even more. So you've got repeater IP addresses. Now, I do think this is quite significant, actually. IP addresses all to do with terminal mode. OK, well, I'm definitely going to load this up to my radio as well. So watch the rest of the video uh, to get this loaded up. Bye for now. Plays and so on and so on. So I think it's worth doing. So what we're going to do is, here's the link which is in the description, we're going to download it, like so. Now I've already taken the SD card out and put it into my computer. So here on the left is my SD card. I've got quite a lot on it, haven't I? <laughs> um, so, um, well, see that one there, 705E127, that's the last one that I had. So here's the, the zip, let's, let's just double click it. And what the file that we're actually interested in is actually... This one here, this 705E130. So we're just going to drag that across into my SD card. And then hopefully, when I put that in my machine, I'll be able to just uh, select firmware and then update the firmware. It's possible I've got to move it up, but I don't think so. I think where it is, it will still see it. We'll see what I'm going to find out. So we're over to the next part of the video. So here we are at the radio, we've put the SD card in. Remember the SD card, the gold part faces you, so go easy with that. So you do need to have a power supply into your radio. You see there we've got a power supply going in, no problem. So we're just going to go menu, set, then go down to SD card, tap the screen and we want firmware update, the top one here. Just select that, cool, it's quite bright isn't it? Then just scroll down. Yes, agreed to everything above. Click yes and it will say it save all the settings on the on your radio for you automatically. Thank you very much. Very sensible. 
then see the two firmwares where well, the new one is the 130 so we're going to select that do you want to start updating yes and i've got a feeling you have to hold down your finger on the yes okay checking the file is good updating the main cpu firmware please wait for 21 seconds so that's it just let that run through and yeah it's been a while since there's been a firmware update on this it's still my favorite radio i've just got myself the yesu 710 which i really like but this you know the 7 uh, 705 is has always been my favorite radio it really has so converting the setting data takes up to 30 seconds now this is longer than it used to be so i got a feeling i got a feeling this is all to do with the new 905 why they've done this but you know i'm just guessing of course there's my little logo what version 130 and 100 percent power blah 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 i wonder if it's kept my memory channels or if i have to restore them um memo yeah it looks like my memory channels are all there so i'm not really sure i did say something about a new um gps menu and other things but anyway everything looks fine so that's it that's your firmware thanks for watching my channel 73 all the best